What's going on everybody, Real Estate Randy here, and I really wanted to do this video just to go over what's happening in our real estate market today, talking about the new norm and just a, a strong housing market that's expected to continue into 2021, okay? Um, this year is going to be known for a lot of things, and predominantly is going to be the pandemic and all the life loss, you know? Um, this is definitely something that I've never seen in my lifetime, and my parents you know, in their lifetime, this is something that is, we're going to remember for the rest of our lives. It's going to be in history books, right? Uh, we have never been in a situation in my lifetime where the whole world stopped like the way it did. And um, speaking about the real estate market in March, like everything slowed down. Yes, there were still homes being sold, but it just wasn't like it was expected to be the year prior, you know? Um, so let's just talk about the market and what's happening in it, all right? One of the most amazing things is happening right now. And I've been practicing real estate as far as on the realtor side for three years. Uh, I've been investing since 2014. So I've been doing it for a while. I love real estate. I live and breathe and die real estate. So this is something that for me, I have never seen at this level. Okay. And what I mean is this is a, a real estate market where the buyers and sellers are actually almost winning equally. You know, usually it's like it's either a seller's market or it's a buyer's market. I feel like right now it's a buyer and a seller's market. And, 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 and the reason why is honestly with, due to the COVID pandemic, um, there's not really that many houses on the market. Like right here, National Associations of Realtor reports it. There are fewer homes on the market today than the association has seen in data going all the way back to 1982. So there are less homes on the market today then there was a 1982. And just think about that. Like, just really sit back and think about the fact that in 1982, how that housing market was. I have no idea. I wasn't born yet. But I'm just assuming you, you, when we're building houses at such a rate that we are right now, I'm assuming that in 1982, they could not build houses as fast as we can, right? So... The fact that we have less homes available is crazy to me, okay? Um, I actually visited with some new builders, new construction homes, and they have waiting lists. I have never heard of having waiting lists for new construction that does like on a mass scale of home building. Not, not like these um, custom builders who are small operations, but I'm talking about big time companies. They have waiting lists. You know, it's crazy. So... This is how it becomes a good seller's market. I mean, think about it. If you're a homeowner and you're thinking about selling your home right now and you have less competition, I know there's a specific uh, community that I market to right now that literally has one listing available. And two weeks ago, there was zero listings available in that market. And it's a beautiful community. And I'm, I know it's a popular community that people want to get into. So for them, they have an opportunity to cash in huge right now. If they thought about selling a year from now, I would just go ahead and do it right now because there just really isn't that much available, but there's still tons of buyers out there. So that is how we sit there and talk about how the fact that it's a seller's market, but this is why it's a buyer's market too. The interest rates are so ridiculously low right now. I mean, it's crazy. It's like 2.65, I believe, the last time I checked it. That right there alone makes this a great opportunity for anybody who's on the fence about buying a house. You really have more purchasing power with 2.65. Now, I, um, I did read somewhere and I posted on my social media that they're expecting by the end of the next year that it goes back up. I think it was 3.25%. So right now is a great time to, to just take advantage of these low interest rates. You're in a position to buy, buy. One, you can, the house that you've, you know, the, the price point you've been already looking at and you've been told this is how much you're gonna spend monthly. Now you can actually afford to, you know, to, to have that same home and you're, you're spending less money a month. 
or say that the home you was original I, I had clients that because of their budget they couldn't exactly afford what they wanted but now that was when the interest rates were four point something so now with these rates you could possibly actually afford the home that you're really looking for right so it's a great opportunity for both sides to win right now um, if you want more detail about how you can benefit from today's amazing market, in the description, I'll have the link to my blog post who goes more in depth into what I'm talking about and gives you a better understanding. And feel free um, to message me, text me. I have, I have my information all in the description. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day and always remember to stay safe.